Yeah, we'll have to take a look and to see just how, just who's able to get off to a hot start first. Because it feels like if you're able to force some uh, sharp into playing catch up, that may that's the primarily primarily the way that you want to uh, knife sharp to be approaching you. I as the main one, being able to pull a lot of turnips and see how see how many times sharp gets a little bit impatient. Yeah. All right. And we already see Neutral. some of the tools coming up from Ling Ling. Oh, and no tech on to the side of PS2. Not going to find a means of interception from the part of, uh, of Ling Ling. Uh, but still, the oh, threat is the already jump. there. Sharp tried to jump away and just grab out of the air. And I like the corner pressure from Ling. Even though ZSS is one of the characters that just get to avoid it most of the time, Ling is still trying to apply the pressure. Like, choose a traditional option. I'm ready there to scout it. Oh, the Nair trading with back air before it can, or flat out beating back air before it can come out. 105 to, uh, to only four, 103 to only 45. And I feel like this is really where Ling Ling wants to, where uh, Ling wants to be. I'll get uh, used to uh, it eventually, uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. Uh, back on stage. <laughs> We are we are back on stage, man. I oh, like yeah. that Sharp has been trying to do use a little bit more cross ups in their uh, in their offense a little bit more. I mean, Zero yeah. Suit's mobility is almost second to none, so you can afford to pour, to put yourself into the corner because you know you can weave straight out of it. As that uh, that side B that Plasma Whip will in fact do the uh, close out the first stock, oh. the second stock almost following straight away. Yeah, we almost saw a combo end right there. Things are looking really tough. Yeah, oh my god. Sharp is just swarming with all of this speed as... Okay, you got there. <laughs> I wonder if that roll seemed buffered, but with the plasma, uh, the paralyzer still affecting and popping up into such a spot that Sharp was able to follow up. Though Link does answer right back. And with a turnip in hand, we know that Link has a lot of potential for combo extensions with any sort of turnip if they're able to get their hands on this one. Yeah, okay, fair is coming out. Going for the empty hop, down tilt into Nair runoff fair. Huge amount of damage, forcing Link, uh, forcing Sharp in just to use that uh, flip jump, not able to punish. Oh, oh down smash. Ooh. You don't see that every day. Yeah, and it seemed like Sharp was equally not as ready for it as, uh, as uh, we were, getting hit by that, but still able to find their way from disadvantage to advantage so seamlessly. Yeah, and this is looking a lot tougher and tougher for Ling now. That's gaining to 115 and still not able to take out Sharp's second stock. Now, are you thinking that Ling needs to be a little bit more potent on offense here, or is they need to stop like trying to find all these traditional like fairs in, in yeah, order to apply so pressure? So you really can't hit her with fair, for the most part. Oh, you saw the little. Jump. But yeah, you got to call out her jumps like that. So a bit more up airs. Like if they didn't have invincibility there, you will see again. Maybe Ling's listening in. <laughs> Yo, Ling. Yeah, but yeah, more up airs. You you need to start seeing to catch out the jumps. And just basically shark, make sure she doesn't shark. Yeah, that smash is gonna right, work yeah, right that, there. Yeah, that up smash will do it. It was a little bit of a there was a start. Of, there was a start of something there from Ling, doing a lot more of these like, single hits on shield, and then either prepping with. Uh, prepping with down tilt jab or just move away. Yeah. So Sharp was getting a little bit too comfortable by just holding block and jumping out of it, and was getting and was getting properly punished for it. It just it seemed like it wasn't quite all stringing together for Ling. It'd be single hit back to neutral. Yeah. And playing a lot of neutral against Zero Suit Samus can get you whittled away very quickly. Yeah. No, she is a neutral fiend. Oh, that poor winky face, plucked and thrown away just as quickly. Yeah, reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> There's some baggage there. <laughs> All right, I wasn't the favorite one, but <laughs> so basically, you see Sharp playing a lot more defensive now. Like Ling, Ling starts now with the lead, but try, Sharp is trying to run away with it, and it's not working out too soundly. Oh, went for the setup. If you neutral got up there and shield, you're like you're basically dead. Oh, yeah, getting rid of it. Yeah, not trying to use Saturn for themselves. 
but, you know, respectable. It really seems like Sharp does have... It's faint, but when they do have a habit of pulling up shield uh, rather quickly in some of those, in some precarious situations, trying to force them out of that situation, but the dot eyes will intercept the flip jump, and that'll be Ling taking the first stop, though not far behind is Sharp if they can close out this edge guard. The back air just barely missing. Yeah. All right, what's the deal here? Yeah, what's the setup for Lin Lang? Do they have, okay, choosing again just to apply that normal pressure. There's a down tilt and... Yeah, just opt to end the combo early, but didn't get the platform tech chase on there. And I do like what Ling is going for. Wraith also did mess up that combo. Not trying to do too much and in too many situations. Hey, some of these three-piece combos still net for a solid 30 to 35 percent. You can't be too mad. Jump from ledge gets by the paralyzer. Sharp doing their best to find the killing blow, and there it is with that back air link being very hard to hit throughout the um, the mid portion of that you know, of that game. Yeah, no, and he's now seeing the pressure that Ling's doing. Also pulling a bit more turnips, as you see, and just doing work with them. Ooh, that was a very far hit of down tilt, and it set up for that forward air very well. Landing the jump. Oh, it's still without a jump, but it finally get, able to get back to ledge. Oh, I like the empty hop right there. That was so low to the ground. And the intercept on the boost kick, not finding it just yet, but going back across the stage, trying once again to force uh, Sharp into a vulnerable option. Not quite yet. Yeah. Well, both these two are just so disciplined in shield, just knowing what hits to take in order to get out of a precarious spot. And that's the big thing. It's like you need to know what pressure can each other do until it's finally your turn. Wing certainly trying to take his turn there, but Sharp answering right back off of ledge with a couple of zares. Looking to hold center yeah. and then the empty hop up smash trying to bait Ling in, into a landing aerial. And he, once he broke his float, that was when Sharp struck. All right, yeah, caught him. And Ling's starting to get desperate. Yeah, See right there, just trying to get a read. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's oh, been a lot of instances where Ling just is hard hunting for these nares and just going all in against Sharp looking for a strong hit neutral air. And always in center, Ling, uh, Sharp ends up being, which isn't going to close out the stop quite yet, but the backer out of shield will do it. Yeah. Okay, just tried to start a combo with the up air right there. Didn't get it. And Sharp staying disciplined. Down smash as Ling once again comes back on with these nares, trying to uh, continuously exert that pressure. There's a grab. Okay, it's just not working out right here. I like the spacing. Sharp being very careful. Great grab. Goes oh. for the up B, not finding it, and going to eat. And just a forward air is punished. Man, it's... Ling Ling has been... It, it feels like they've conditioned themselves into thinking, I can get single hits, maybe a couple, yeah. as many as three, but and then I have to cut yeah. it off. And I've never seen Ling just so desperate for that closer right there. Really uncharacteristic, and that's Mike going to cost him the game. No, not just yet. Just holding on for dear life. Rage Peach has a lot of firepower behind her if she if Ling is able to find the proper opening. But Sharp is just it was so dangerously close yeah. to getting hit, but just barely not in the oh last hit gosh. of that up smash. Hello. Yeah. Close, but no cigar for Ling. Twice over, trying to mount some form of proper comeback. And at the end of the day, twice over, just yeah, walking, just running yeah, into just it. Yeah, just walking right into that up smash, like, by a matter of inches. Like, maybe, uh, like, an unwanted dash. Yeah, maybe looking for a grab too early, uh, going for just yeah. a normal down throw back air, like, set up a ledge trap. Like, down to a fair could have still worked right there. It just sucks. Oof. Just, like, Oof. Just, just right up. So close. Yeah, so that's, close. A, that's the roadblock sound. Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, wow. What a, what a close set, though. It really felt like both of those players like understood what each other normally want and thus had that counterplay ready and uh, ready to go right from the word go. Yeah. Which led to a very, a very like, 
like a set like both of them were walking on eggshells. Yeah, no, they were. And we were able to see that and again and again through the replay technology from House of 3000. We have the technology. 